Well, hello everyone. Here is Shoei right here. I talk about for young adults, though, and a lot of times, what does that usually mean when we speak about young adults? And it's another way of stating as to where the, you know, yeah, if you're between the ages of uh, maybe 17 and maybe 29 or something like that, maybe, you know, 31 to 41, something like that. And so a lot of times it sure seems that way that when we think about that, though, is a yeah, that, you know, yeah, you know, for what you call young, though. And uh, there's different ways of how you want to describe young, though. And a lot of times it sure seems that way that, yeah, when we think about the young adults, though, that, uh, yeah, that, uh, you know, is that really uh, in a measure about maybe a certain grade level or, you know, whichever you want to like it. But a lot of times it sure seems that way that, uh Whenever we uh, think about that, to where talk up between a uh, you know young age or maybe teenage age or maybe the adult age or something like that, and like everybody else would say too, is to where the yeah that uh, you know really that if you were to be talking to somebody else in one o two is to where the yeah you know um, you actually started the relationship just by saying is to where that you were actually classmates with this person. You were classmates with this person, and that's how you're able to form a source of connection. But another way of, of how to uh, explain about that, the fact about, you know, talk about for young adults right here. And uh, so I have right here, talk about for young adults right here. And, uh, well, what does that really mean necessarily? And uh, everybody else might even say that, uh, you know, yeah, young adults, it means is toward that, uh, you, know, you know, yeah, it's, uh, you know, someone... Um, Someone who is, um, at, um, the, uh, the, uh, age, um, between, um, 29 and 41. So let's just say on average that if we can use that as, like, an example right there, like anybody else would probably say, too, that that sounds... A little bit like uh, what uh, you know, most insurance companies would say. I'm like, yeah, if you're going to be maybe a, a member of a gym or something like that, and like everybody else would say too, that you know, yeah, different ways of how you want to describe young adults. And uh, so it's like, yeah, that if you're going to be uh, the age between 30 and maybe 35 or maybe even 40, and uh, 102 is toward, yeah, but maybe every uh, birthday that you do have that, uh, you know, you can remember that back whenever you were 17, that uh, you can just remember that uh, a lot of things uh, for what you could do or could not do during a time, and you always, a lot of times, you had to have per the parents' permission just to be able to do certain things, you know, something like that. But it sure seems that way, that when we think about young adults, though, that, that the first thing that might come to my mind will be uh, talk about classmates. And uh, so it's like, yeah, that, you know, if it's really about measured about maybe a certain level, you know, grade level or something like that. Or somebody might even see say too that, you know, if it's uh, based on a study about the typical archaeology, that uh, whenever you consider yourself young, you are also considering yourself uh, to be, um, you know, yeah, you know, healthy and independent and also, uh, yeah, responsible and also, you know, like, yeah, if it's another word, uh, you know, I can also put it as toward like, yeah, energetic or something like that. And, you know, talk about for emotional feeling or something like that. So it's like, yeah, that uh, if you consider yourself young, though, that uh, also means as toward, uh, yeah, that, you know, you're not really considered old uh, between if you were maybe over the age of 50 or something like that. So it sure seems that way that, uh, that when we think about, uh, you know, young adults, though, they are still adults, so I guess a lot of times everybody else might even say too that uh, between uh, you know teenagers, um, teenagers uh, to young you know to adults, and uh, so it sure seems that way that uh, you know if you're over the age of eighteen, a lot of times that uh, you know I also say too that uh, you know, yeah if you're over the age. Of 18 and of course that you know you're past you know the age of a teenager but then also uh, that uh, talking about uh, between the age of 25 and uh, you know between 25 and maybe even 45 so let's just say if we were to use that as like an age range right there and uh, people might even say too that uh, 
you know, ages between 25 and 45 right there. And uh, you're likely thinking, too, as to where people may say, as to where, yeah, well, stay young as much as you can. And uh, so a lot of times, if we were to start the sentence by saying as to where that, yeah, that by every year, whenever you have a birthday, though, I might talk about a birthday right here, that um, every year, whenever you're going to have a birthday, that uh, you think about that like a type of vacation right there, right? And that you want to know, too, is toward it, uh, you know, yeah, that back whenever you were a teenager, that a lot of times it's like uh, a lot of people would say, too, that especially if you're if you're going to be in college or maybe if you're going to be any source of a of a gathered group or something like that. And just think as to where if you're going to have like, yeah, usually there's like your birthday cake and other sorts of celebrations and all that. But it sure seems that way that uh, when we think about that, you know, yeah, you know, presents are a lot, a lot of times it's a. Uh, presents and cake or something like that and it sure seems that way that um when we think about that is toward it uh, talking about the typical uh, celebrations though and uh you're likely one oh two too that uh you know yeah that uh first of all it's like um you're wondering to word it uh when we think about uh you know ages uh your know, young ages your know, young adults that uh, we necessarily think it about is, is to word it, uh, that, yeah, that, uh, you know, whenever you have a birthday and if you consider yourself young, though, that, uh, that's like, yeah, well, you try to stay, you know, try to stay young as much as you can, meaning as to where the, yeah, don't be in any big hurry to be, I'm like, like everybody else would say, too, that, uh, you know, how many of us, would say is this to where they, you know, they can't wait until they turn at least 40 or 50. Maybe a lot of it has to do with maybe, uh, you know, maybe uh, you know, a tax return check. I'm like, yeah, a lot of it is maybe, uh, you know, uh, qualified for benefits or, you know, maybe through your insurance or something like that. So, you know, you might hear something more like that or maybe about the maybe, you know, you know, grant opportunities or something like that, maybe bonuses from a job or something like that. So a lot of ways it sure seems that way that uh, we all have our reasons to why that, that you're going to maybe say is to where they, you know, maybe if you can't wait until you turn 40. And uh, so it's like, yeah, that, um, so let's just think about this right here to where that, uh, that, you know, whenever you were at a young age though, it sure seems that way that I'm talking about, you know, ever since uh, maybe from back in that 1999, that, that there was only so much really you can do back whenever you were young. But like everybody else might even say, too, that, uh, you know, if you consider yourself young, though, uh, that pretty much means as to where there are some things that you are not qualified for. And, uh, you know, some things that maybe that, you know, maybe you can't do all the things. But, you know, still, that, uh, but talk about over here, talk about classmates right here. And uh, I don't know if everybody here has seen this right here. But whenever I think about this, I also think about classmates. Because you know how that is. Is that, uh, you know, whenever you're going to be talking to any young adults. And uh, let's just say if you're going to be starting a conversation with one of them. And like I say too, is toward it. You know, hey, how, how you doing? You know, you know, something like charming or beautiful or something like that. So like, yeah, so... So it sure seems that way that um, when we speak about young adults, though, that it sure seems that way to where that uh, we're not talking about adults that maybe that, that, you know, yeah, most of them are pretty healthy. Some of them that could have minor you know, health problems or anything like that. But, you know, but still that uh, but you know, another way of how do you want to call us is to where talk about young adults to where we're talking about. Adults who are over the age of 18, but then they are under the age of 40. So, if we would actually do the math right here, talk about, you know, yeah, adults, uh, you know, over the age, um, over the, the age um, of 18, you know, to, uh, you know, like, yeah, to, you know, to we're under the age um Of uh, 40. Now, under the age of 40. So a lot of times when we think about that though. Between 18 and under the age of 40 though. That uh, you consider. Like everybody else might even say too. That there's a typical name for that. To where that yeah. you know, Does that mean that uh, you are considered yourself a freshman citizen? 
or uh, a sophomore citizen or something like that. I mean, I, I really don't know if maybe if uh, Congress is maybe going to say is this to where if you were to give yourself maybe a, a, a you know, like, yeah, if you were to consider yourself, you know, like a nickname to where that, you know, you have right here to talk about for citizens, right? Your citizenships. And a lot of times, like everybody else, you know, like say, come on now, but, you know, citizen, you know, talk about for citizenships right here. And, uh, so a lot of times it's like, yeah, you know, is it really about the measure about, you know, a freshman? Freshman or sophomore? Freshman or sophomore? You know, junior or senior? Junior or senior? So, you know, you know for sure that uh, senior citizens, right? So we're talking about, you know, 40 years in between, aren't we? So let's just say that uh, on average, though, that uh, for the senior, you know, yeah, for the, for the citizenships, that uh, we're talking about 40 years in between. 40 years between. So a lot of those benefits, uh, and I, I, if I were to actually do the studies, though, that... Uh, at the time, you weren't O two. Is toward it, you know, yeah. If you were consider yourself a freshman or a sophomore, or a junior, or like maybe just a second hand, you know, the second or third year, you know, for a sophomore or something like everybody else would probably say too that, you know, if you consider yourself a sophomore, whenever you're in your thirties, you know, that would be considered that you know, yeah, what by what grade level, and like everybody else may even say too. That 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 you know that that citizenship level would be something like, you know, yeah, the second, uh, you know, the second, uh, you know, so something like that, second sophomore. So it's like, you know, so yeah, so yeah, if you want to, um, so how many of us will maybe think that way toward that, uh, you know, if you are between the age of thirty-five and going on maybe forty, you know, three more years to go until you turn forty years old. And a 102 that, you know, would you be considered yourself, you know, uh, a sophomore? And, uh, you know, yeah, so a sophomore or maybe a, a middle-aged junior or something like that. Or, you know, but I, I, I'm not really trying to get, uh, you know, or, you know, energetic. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to just uh, doing the studies and saying this toward, uh, you know, that, yeah, that, you know, if, we, if really, if anybody has really thought of it that way, but still, that, uh Talk about for young adults here, though, that, uh, so, because a lot of times, uh, whenever I do the studies about a lot of insurance plans, that, uh, most of those insurance plans and, and other sorts of, uh, benefits, you know, tax, uh, if it's tax credits or anything like that, most of that stuff would apply to a lot of the senior citizens. So, let's just say that if you consider yourself maybe a sophomore citizen, <laughs> like everybody else would say, too, that that's not really what it's called, you know, that's not really what it's referred by whenever it comes to uh, the tax offices or maybe about you contact your insurance or something like that. But let's just say that um, that uh, if you were to think about that to where, that uh, if you were to use that source of saying to where that... Uh, you know, if you were going to be over the age of 18, though, there are a lot of things that maybe you are not qualified for until you turn at least 45. Until you turn at least 45 years old, the thing, you know, the, the benefits or anything like that that you're qualified for. So a lot of times, everybody else might even say, too, that, uh, you know, yeah, you know, try to stay young as much as possible. So what, what does that usually mean when, you, like anybody say, that, you know, yeah, if a, if a mom or an aunt or uncle would say, I'm like, you know, say the same thing, you know, stay, stay young as much as you can. So I guess, you know, you're like, yeah, stay, uh, stay healthy. So I guess you say, yeah, stay healthy and, uh, you know, yeah, you know, another way of how you want to call it is to, yeah, try Try to stay young and hell and healthy, and uh, so it's like yeah that uh, in a lot of ways that we probably think in two is toward that uh, we were to go by so that source of saying no, but let's just say that uh, that if we would be talking to our parents or maybe a friend of ours or a counselor, and you were in O two is toward it. What does that usually mean? Whenever somebody says you stay young, is toward it. Don't be in a big hurry to get older.
But still, that uh, like everybody else would say too, that uh, well, really, that uh, you know, if it's it's not really over the fact about getting carried away about okay, you know, if you're going to be you know between the age of 27 and maybe 38 years old, then uh, you know, can you really get carried away and say that claim that you're 38, you know, or something like that, whenever you're really just you're only 35 or something like that? But like everybody else would say too, that yeah, well, really, that. Uh, Back whenever you were younger, you may claim to be, uh, you know, older than your actual age just because. Like, and I, and I know, like, you know, younger teenagers might even say, too, if you claim, um, you know, like, yeah, the claim. If you claim to be older than your age or something older or younger. And uh, so it's like, yeah, a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, when we think about that, that uh, talk about between... Uh, Younger and older, though, uh, you know, younger age and older age, and uh, and we the way we think about that, though, like the way I usually think about that is that, uh, that yeah, you you start a conversation with somebody, and it's like a lot of times it's like you know, yeah, that you know, a lot of the benefits that you're not qualified for until you turn a certain age, like whenever you do uh, by the time you turn 40 and by the time you turn 50, that uh, you know, you may, uh, you know, the doctor may want to test you for something and, you know, based on health wise or something like that. But still, that uh, talk about for young adults. So we might even think that if you're going to be over the age of 25, you might think and just assume to word that, you know, yeah, the things, you know, benefits and maybe things that you're qualified for. And one of those, and you know for sure, one of those is maybe going to be tax credit. And, um, and I can put, and I can tell everybody here that I'm sure. Everybody else would probably say, too, that, yeah, you know, I'm qualified for a tax credit, ain't I? Or, I'm like, yeah, yeah, citizenship uh, along with uh, membership. So, let's just say if the, if the question kind of goes by, you know, memberships uh, along with, with like, uh, you know, yeah, memberships and also, you know, maybe, uh, you know, yeah, you know, if you were maybe like on a team or something like that, you know, a group or a team or something, I can just say, you know, a team or something like that. Your know, teams, and uh, so the the way we think about that though is that uh, yeah, that uh, any source of award or credit or maybe any source of uh, of uh, you know like yeah, gift uh, a certi certification or something like that. That uh, the way we think about that though is that uh, yeah, you know we may have thought that way to where that whenever we uh, were teenagers, that a lot of things that we look forward to by the time that we. Uh, were by the time I would have reached my adult age, you know, growing up and just thinking as toward it, yo, know, yeah, that, uh, you know, whenever you grow up, there are a lot of things that you want to look forward to, right? And a lot, a lot of good opportunities that were going to be available whenever you got older, right? And a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, if you're going to be between the age of 29 and maybe 37 or maybe, you know, 39, and like everybody else would probably say to you, by the time you turn 39, then it just knowing about the things that be qualified for. But let's just say that uh, that if you're going to be talking to somebody, when well, you're one of your classmates, and let's just say that, like everybody else would say too, that uh, you know, yeah, that uh, you know, would you be, uh, you know, you know, and like like everybody else would say too, this to word that uh, you know, you know, do you think that you could be maybe be breaking the rules just a little bit if you were to be uh, developing a source of relationship, like everybody else would say too. That is to where if you were to be uh, falling in love with somebody that you met in class or maybe somebody that you used to work with, somebody that you were working with at one time, if you were to actually develop uh, a kind of relationship with somebody. And people might say that, well, you're not really breaking the rules, but like everybody else would say too, that uh, if you were to fall in love with somebody and uh, like everybody else would say too, that um, if you were to actually fall in love with somebody and maybe start a conversation with somebody about something. And at 102 is to word it the best ways of how to, uh, to start a conversation will more likely be is, is to word it, yeah, you know, uh, you know, it was a, a pleasure. You know, I'm like, yeah, pleasure working with you. And uh, like a, a bond in the relationship, yeah, pleasures. And also, uh, you know, a bond, you know, uh, yeah. So a lot of things, I think, you know, I think a lot of times... Relationship seems to start, you know, most of the time is by so you know, for how much you remember, you know, for how much 
you remember about this, uh, you know, like uh, everybody else might say, if it's considered like maybe a, a soulmate or it could also be uh, another partner, a partner that uh, that, you, that you're close to. And uh, whenever you, uh, while you're working with them, of course, you know, yeah, while you're working with this person, you're working um, with um, this, we're working with that person that, uh, that uh, you, you actually, uh, you know, yeah, you know, well, what what are the sorts of facts and interests that we develop while we're working with somebody? And let's just say while you're working with this person, that you uh, develop a connection. And I guess another way of I'm like, yeah, you develop a, you, you develop a connection. And even though that, uh, yeah, that that connection is not meant to be, you know, always about love and uh, you know yeah relationships but let's just say that if you were if you actually met this person while you were working or maybe while uh, you know you were taking classes or maybe while you were in training or something like that so it sure seems that way that uh a lot of relationships nowadays and at the time you weren't oh too that uh, whenever you do uh while you're talking to somebody, though, a lot of times it sure seems that way that the, the conversation kind of starts by is to where, yeah, knowing about how much that you show that you care and you support, you know, about how much support that you're will, willing to give and to this person. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you talk about for support, but then also, you know, the kindness, uh, kindness and, and um, the kindness and then caring. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we think about that to where that uh, whenever it comes to understanding about young adults that, uh, you know, are we necessarily thinking about the grade though or are we necessarily thinking about is, is that, you know, yeah, well, you know, certain topics in a matter, but you're still that the, on your hand too that if you were to start a conversation with somebody and let's just say that, that you know, while, you know, during the, the three weeks uh, while you were working with this person and let's just say that uh you know if it was maybe over medical you know questions or something like that you know you actually were talking to this person because uh, it was uh, something that had to be uh, signed or something that had to be verified or something so a lot of times like everybody else would say too that um that whenever you do develop a relationship a lot of times it sure seems that way to where that people might see is to where that yeah you know you have nice conversations with somebody, but that don't really mean, I'm like, yeah, you know, they don't mean that there is like any sort of a, a love relationship that may not mean, that they may, that may not mean to where that, that, you know, that there's really no hate of the matter or anything like that. So it sure seems that way that, um, when we talk about the young adults though, and, uh, at the time it sure seems that way. The first thing that comes to your mind is to where that, yeah, you know, the purpose to why that you went to that meeting is so that way you can talk about uh, what's been going on with the community and everything. Uh, you know, anything else that comes to your mind. And so a lot of times, the way we think about that, to where that whenever you do, uh, you know, by the time you uh, get older, by the time you turn over the age of 35, though, that the first thing that you're probably thinking about is, is to where that you still have is there still you know good opportunities to where you you can you, you still have an opportunity to where you can go uh, on that special vacation you can actually go on that special go to that special event you know go to that you know that job opportunity and so a lot of things um that uh i'm sure a lot of young adults will probably say too that that you know yeah you know by the time you turn 45, are you considered a middle adult or something like that? So, in case of anybody say this to already, yeah, you know, middle, the middle adult, you know, that, that don't really make any sense. But, um, middle adult, middle adult, and, um, you know, to me, why does that remind me a lot of, uh, like, medicine? Whenever you look at medicine labels... You know, you usually don't see that word of readings on a medicine label, such as maybe if it's a, if it's a, maybe a aspirin or Tylenol or something like that, or maybe any other source of Tylenol or, you know, like, yeah, you know, any source of vitamins. Let's just say if you're taking vitamins, you don't really see anything uh, such as talking about middle for middle adults or something like that. Now, I really don't even know if uh, doctors even look at the adults so like to where the yeah if you're if you're the age between 39 
and uh, 49 years old or something like that, or maybe 47, and then you are considered to be a middle-aged adult or something like that. But like anybody say to you that, yeah, well, really, that um, I really don't know if there's really a scale between, uh, you know, between the teenage age and then compared to the young adult age or to, to the, maybe the second, uh, I'm like, yeah, so far as the citizenship goes and, but at the time, it sure seems that way that if we would be talking to our moms and dads or uncles or friend of ours and one oh two is toward a yeah, you know, uh, try stay young as much as possible. Don't be in any big hurry to get any older. Well, really, what does that usually mean? And uh, and I know anybody would probably say too, that usually means is to where to don't get carried away. Um, About um, those uh, opportunities you know for um, for uh, those um, you know for the higher age groups and I'm gonna go and just say you know for the higher the higher age groups you know like a high or a higher higher age citizens so a lot of times, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, for how you want to call us as a, you know, yeah, for the citizens. And um, so another way of probably, I'm like, yeah, don't be in any big hurry to get older. Because I know like everybody else would say too that, uh, you know, whenever you turn over the age of 18, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, 25, you know, yeah, that, you know, whenever you're over the age of 25 and a lot of things that you've been talking about doing from the past, you know, 15, 20 years. And it seems like so not... Not all of them have happened yet, and so you want to know too that they, you know you're still waiting for a lot of those good opportunities to happen. But it's like, yeah, whenever you read a, a lot of these uh, advertisements, though, and a lot of times it's like, you know, you see a lot of the qualifications that are based on the fact about um, that whenever it comes to understanding about that uh, senior citizens and that uh, you know men and women who are over the age of forty and. Uh, you know, like anybody says to her, especially whenever it comes to health problems or something like that. And so that's why it sure seems that way that whenever we talk about uh, for young age right here, and uh, you can also look as to her talking about for classmates. And uh, so, yeah, if you're going to be talking to this person here, and let's just say that they're talking to this person and, you know, you were classmates at one time. And so that means is that... Uh, that you were able to talk about stuff and maybe share your ideas and your opinions about stuff. And, uh, you know, let's just say if you were close to, if you were real close uh, to this person, but a lot of times you probably say to tell anybody that, you know, you were not, you know, you were not dating this person that you were classmates with this person. So let's just, let's just say that, um, you know, you're, you weren't dating, not, you know, you weren't dating this person. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You weren't dating them, but uh, you were. You know, you were working with them. You know, you were. Um, you know, you were working uh, on. Um, you know, you were working with them. Um, the person, uh, and uh, let's just say that uh, if it's maybe psychology or maybe it could have been a pro. I'm like, yeah, you know, anything about research or something like that. So, and everybody else would say too. Most of the time, it's based on. Uh, your research and um like yeah the person's research right there and um you're the re research and uh so really that um you talk about the words in the vocabulary but you know still that uh, you talk about for research though but then you're still well what what does that usually mean uh whenever you do like if we were to start a conversation like that to where they talk about for young adults though uh, is that you know yeah that whenever you do uh, talk to somebody about that. I'm like yeah that that's how you met but then also that uh, you know showing the true feeling um, the true um, feeling about um, how you feel and uh, like everybody else would say too is to where I uh, yeah yeah I love uh, I love you, or, you know, something like that, so, so, yeah, you know, um, so, let's just say that, uh, if you were to start a conversation with somebody, and let's just say that, uh, you know, you include, uh, 
the word and phrase is to where the I love you and maybe put right there and put like a little icon right there just indicating that, uh, you know, yeah, you know, if you got my message, you know, you know yeah, I, I do, I do love you, but then on your hand that, uh, you know, I really think that that's, uh, you know, we don't really want to go that far in a relationship or like everybody else might even say too, that um, if you're going to be starting a conversation with somebody about something and a 102 is toward a yeah, you know, you, uh, you tell, like, yeah, I, I do love you, but uh, on your hand that, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, our friendship, you know, we're talking about for friendship though, and um, so a lot of times it sure seems that way toward it, um, you know, uh, you start a conversation just by saying is toward, you know, you want to keep the friendship for at least, you know, five years before you talk about, you know, get, before the engagement and all that. And then I'm like, yeah. You know, before you start uh, talking about um, engagement, before you start talking about dating and, you know, relationship, I'm like, yeah, yeah. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, when we talk about uh, young age adults, though, that... Uh, that first of all, it sure seems that way toward it, uh, you know, yeah, I love you and talk about for relationships and, and engagement, but, you know, still, that, um, that, uh, a lot of times, I'm like, yeah, well, while, um, while, um, you, um, were sleeping, and you can maybe even tell somebody this, while you were sleeping, you, um, uh, were dreaming, um, About uh, your thoughts, your emotion. I could just say your, your emotional thinking. If it's really uh, also pronounced you know, your emotional thinking, that while you were dreaming, and this is what you think about while you were dreaming. You know, you were dreaming about uh, talking to this person and uh, thinking about something that you would like to ask this person. And it's like uh, a lot of times it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, you met that. Ask them last night, or you meant to talk to them maybe the, the week before, you know, last, or something like that, and, you know, you were just uh, too uh, shy, and, uh, like, you know, yeah, you, know, you were too nervous really to know about what they were going to say, and all, but, but still, that, um, but on your hand, too, it sure seems that way toward it, uh, like everybody else would say, too, that, uh, you know, yeah, whenever, um, when, you know, what, what are you going to do, uh, you know, what, um, are, um, yeah, you know, what what are what are you going to do? When uh, classes, uh, yeah, when classes are over. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that like any counselor can maybe talk about that as to where that uh, you have, you know, six weeks. It's usually six weeks of class or something like that. So. So that's something to think about right there, is that, um, that you know, whenever you first uh, were met this person, and like everybody else would probably say too, that uh, talk about for a dream come true, and I can also mention that too, talk about, you know, a dream come true. So what does that usually mean when uh, we uh, speak about, uh, you know, a dream come true or anything like that, and... Uh, and I can say too is to word it uh, a moment that you know that you know some a moment uh, yeah a moment uh, a moment uh, that um, yeah a moment you've been waiting for so a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh you know, uh, the moment that, that you, you know, that you may have seen is to where, yeah, whenever, whenever they kiss or maybe whenever they hug and then that's whenever that, you know, yeah, you know, so it's a lot of times it's like, uh, you know, whenever you first, um, like everybody else would say too, is to where that I can also put right here in writing is to where that the, the moment that you've been waiting for and then also uh, is to where that, uh, you know, a, um, you know, feeling, um, a feeling by a heart. 
So it's like, yeah, the, the feeling by heart to where whenever you actually, uh, whenever somebody realizes, I'm like, yeah. So a lot of times it's like, uh, you know, uh, yeah. So most of the time, a relationship seems to always, almost always, I'm like, yeah, talk about for happy endings also. But, you know, yeah, talk about for happy endings right here. For a happy ending... Yeah, Micah. Uh, for a happy ending right here, and uh, you know, one oh two is to where it basically means is that uh, that yeah, you know, when uh, when uh, a lot um, a lot um, your um, whenever your a lot of your achievements. Um, had uh, have uh, been um, met successfully. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, not unsuccessfully but successfully. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, that uh, whenever it comes to um, understanding about most relationships, though, is that uh, it sure seems that way that. Uh, you know, when we think about that, is to where that, uh, the, yeah, you know, you actually see, uh, you know, a source of connection, you no, know, and like everybody else would probably say too, that, uh, you know, uh, one hard part, I'm like, yeah, whenever it comes to relationships and whenever it comes to young adults, though, but, uh, you know, still, that, uh, that, uh, you know, yeah, that, um, a way of how you want to show, I'm like, yeah, you know, caring, you know, concern, you know, for concern and caring. For concern and uh, so like yeah so so it sure seems that way toward it uh, that whenever uh, yeah when uh, we uh, first met when we first met of course that I uh, you know, I uh, I uh, did um, not um, have. Um, Everything made. Um, so what does that usually mean when a, when a we uh, say uh, you didn't have everything made, you don't have everything made, and uh, that usually means that you know not everything is, you know not everything is it's not ready, uh, not ready to go. You know it's not all set and you know ready to go or anything like that. So I guess you say yeah, you know, talk about for ready and. Um, so it sure seems that way. I'm like, yeah. I don't know if you want to use an um, exclamation point for that or not, or you know, yeah, ready and. But anyway, um, seems like it's always the question. But um, still, but on your hand too, that uh, the one that we think about the young adults, though, you know, young adults uh, between the ages of, uh, of uh, you know, 29 and 37, 38, or maybe even 40, 41 years old. And a U one O two is toward a yeah that um, that uh, you know you uh, think about that toward that uh, that you feel uh, in a lot of ways you feel like uh, you know you you do feel old in some ways but then at the same time it's like no you're still you're still young I'm like you're still young and healthy and but you're still that uh, like everybody else would say too is toward that uh, you know whenever it comes to uh, classmates though that. Uh, you know, you start talking to, you know, to a group of, um, a classmate, you know, you talk, start talking to somebody, and a lot of times, it's like, yeah, you know, a lot of times that uh, you, you start a conversation a lot of times, and sometimes, you know, you have your arguments and your disagreements and everything, but at the time, it sure seems that way that, um, that, yeah, that, uh, whenever it comes to, uh, uh young adults, that, uh, one key factor, to remember, is just no. Is that with a, a young adult though, like somebody like me though, is that yeah that um, when uh, we think about a, you know being a young age though that uh, taking your time with, you know like yeah you know, you don't be in any big hurry and getting older. What exactly does that mean necessarily? Well, that means is to where that uh, you know don't be anxious to experience. I'm like oh, yeah you know you're anxious. Uh, I guess uh, you know curious. Another word I can also use too, but. You know, toward it, you know, yeah, take a, take a, 
your time with um, the experience. So I can just use that right there. You're taking your time with the experience. You know, you don't want to get, I'm like, yeah, yeah, like everybody else would say too, is to word it uh, most of the time you would get your experience just by if you're going to be uh, hanging, hanging around with a lot of, uh, of uh, you know, yeah, you know, seniors. I'm like, yeah, you know, and, like, like everybody else would say too, that, uh, you know, another word I've had to describe is this word that, you know, if you're going to be hanging around with, uh, with anybody else who's going to be, uh, you know, the age of uh, 41 to maybe 45 or maybe 52 or 53 or something like that and around those ages. And they can maybe give you some advice too. And uh, the, they could probably tell you, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, stay healthy. It's by, uh, you know, make sure, I'm like, yeah, you know, eat healthy, uh, you sleep well. Yeah, stay healthy. Stay healthy by you know, eating well. You know, yeah, eat um, eat well, eat well, and then uh, you know, yeah, think uh, think I uh, have think hard because I because I I know with me though a lot of times you know any wellness uh, you know, advice anybody would probably say to it anything you know wellness or anything like anybody say to this to where the yeah you know make a Good decisions about that. Your good, good decisions to make, and um, so a lot of those good decisions could also be uh, related to about the fact that um, that whenever it comes to understanding about it's like good decisions to word it. Yeah, you know you uh, and um, good decisions, and also another way I'm like yeah, being ener you know energetic. I can always you know, say that to I'm like, yeah, you know, and, and, you know, like, yeah, another word, um, yeah, stay, stay focused. So it sure seems that way that, um, that when we uh, start a conversation with somebody about something, you know, what, what, um, do, um, you, um, think um could um have uh, been better and like everybody else might even say too that uh, you go ahead and and maybe add like a little smiley face right there you know, a happy face or something like that along with the heart right there and uh say god and a gift of appreciation something like that so if we were to start the conversation like with that though, and the like 102 is like a, what do you think that could have been better? Well, you know, I really think too is to word, like everybody else would say too, is to word it um, that uh, anything uh, that uh, that you thought about that you've been working hard on doing, and like a, uh, if it's a, uh, yeah, you're talking about for education number one, you're studying a, uh, talk about for education. Education and license. Education, license, and degrees. So it sure seems that way toward it. Uh, that uh, yeah, education, licenses, and degrees, and then uh, so it, so so it sure seems that way that um, when we think about that a lot of times though, it's like uh, you know, yeah, when we t we when we consider ourselves to be. Uh, a young adult, though, that, uh, that's another way of stating to word it, uh, that, yeah, you're know, being a young adult, that, um, that, uh, you are, you know, still young, you know, under the age of 40 and, you know, under the age of 50, and, uh, even whenever you go to the doctor, that they're going to be asking you about what is your age range, and, and, uh, you know, a lot of times it's like, yeah, well, you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> Most of the time, if you're going to be over the age of 25, and it sure seems that way to word it, does that seem like kind of like a silly question? But not really. I'm like, uh, talk about for your citizenship because, like uh, doctors would say too, is that uh, yeah, that you know, just to be able to keep uh, the age range and uh, at the time, like I say too, that yeah, if you're if you're over the age of 25, if you're between 25 and even 35, or maybe you know, close to your 40s, and uh, 
102 that uh that yeah you're you're still considered a young adult so but you know, still that uh but like I know like everybody else would say too that that, that also means is to where that yeah you know you are not qualified for a lot of the insurance plans a lot of things that you were not qualified for whenever you are in, you know still in your 30s and like uh people might even say too that you know yeah you know but still that um but on your hand, it's like uh, whenever we're talking about that young adults, though, it's like you want to know too is to where a lot of things that you've been talking about that, that you've been wanting to do, and uh, it's like uh, you've been waiting you know, for about eleven years for a lot of those things to happen, and it's like yeah, you know, you want to know uh, when you'll be able to to achieve your goal with, uh, you know, yeah, doing, uh, studying something or any, any majors or anything like that, but, but let's just say if one of those majors, I'm like, yeah, yeah, is to where, like, everybody else would say, too, is to where, talk about for students, that, um, so if you're going to be checking into a college, though, and let's just say that, uh, you know, if you were to be admitted, uh, and if you were to be admitted, like like you know, like yeah, for the admissions. So let's just say if you were to be at the an admission status, and like you know, I say too that if you were to be a, uh, you know, admitted to about maybe five other you know universities or maybe you know eight other colleges, and uh, you know, I can also mention about. Uh, yeah, uni universities and college. I'm like, yeah, universities. Um, also, uh, yeah, yeah, part time, part time and full time. So it sure seems that way that um, a lot of young adults would say too that you know, yeah, if you consider yourself part time or do you consider yourself full time, and um, you know, can you really say anything such as? Uh, you know, I am a part-time adult or something like that. I'm like, that that, that that don't really make any sense. But in case if anybody were to say, can you explain your question a little bit thoroughly? Like, and yeah, you know, I can put it in quotes or something like that. You know, yeah, um, if you claim to be maybe 30, I'm like, yeah. You know, like anybody say, to, if you claim to be over the age of, um, yeah, you know, over the age of, um, of 35. If you're over 35 and then you still want to be considered a, a part-time student and then still, you know, what benefits do you think they'd be qualified for? And like I say, is to where, yeah, or full-time. You're full-time, but then you're, you're, you are still over the age of 35 and knowing about what you're qualified for. Over the age of 35 right here. And um, so it's like, yeah. So why would you want to say that on an application, really? That, that to me, that looks just a little bit like an equation right there. You know, to where if you were to say that on an application, to where part-time over 35, full-time over 35. That sounds really confusing. And like uh, people might even say, too, that if you were to write on paper across the line like that, you know, just write on like a little notepad or something like that, if you were to put that... And like any sort of equation like that, why does that seem so confusing and hard to understand and hard to read like that? And people might even say too is toward it. Yeah, well, you know, especially if you were to try to read that question like maybe, you know, using your know, HTML, the markup language or something like that. But let, let's just say that uh, if we were to be using it in like a, a source of trivia question as far as... Uh, Understanding about citizenships, though, that um, part time or full time, and uh, it sure seems that way to where it really is that really optional. You know, that's really optional, ain't it? It's not really required. And people say this to where, yeah, boy, it, it is, but at the same time, no, that if you're trying to, uh, if, people, if somebody's trying to ask you if you have a graduation day set at a certain time, and let's just say if you are expected to graduate when a certain time, and, let, and let's just say that uh, the, the, the equation, like, yeah, 30, 35 months, and, um, you know, 30, 35 months equals, uh, <laughs> but you're still, that, um, yeah, 35 months equals, uh, you know, how long? So, so, like, 
So I talk about for 35 months right here. So let's just say if we're talking about 35 months right here. And uh, so it's like, yeah, 35 months. And um, so that seems like an awful long time. And then I can go and put right here, you know, uh, yeah, or 35 weeks. And you might think too that, yo, you know, for sure that uh, a lot of uh, young adults would say is to where I'll go ahead and I'll stay with the 35 weeks and go from there and see how much accomplishments that I can do, what I can do. And uh, so it's like a lot of times it sure seems that way that when we think about that, though, like 35, 35, 35. And like, you know, I, I don't I don't get it. Well, what, what do you mean? I'm like, well, it's all about the measure about to where if it's really optional or if it's really required, ain't it? So. So whenever we think about that, it seems like it's all about a mind teaser and um I can go and write that down real quick right here too. Talk about for a mind teaser. What what is a mind teaser? <laughs> yeah, a mind, uh, you know, any source of brain teaser or something like that. Well, what 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 does that mean necessarily? How Michael, you know, yeah, a teaser, a, you know, a teaser. If we can use that um like a mind teaser right there, and like a, another way of how to explain that, and I guess, uh, yeah, it's it's another way of how to, uh, uh, to uh, yeah, yeah, to get your attention mainly, and a lot of times it seems like it's a lot of it is about that testing, testing your attention. <laughs> yeah, te testing your focus, man. I guess. People might even say that you know it's it's really you know it's really about paying attention. Yeah, testing, testing your ability. Yeah, you're testing your focus mainly. So, so whenever we think about that, it seems like to me that right there looks a lot like an equation right there. So whenever we think about that, though, it's like 35 and 35 months. You know, 35. You're part time or full time right there. Why does that seem like an equation right there? So whenever we think about that, though, it's like. You know, really, yo, do we necessarily think about this to where the really, what is really optional and uh, compared to what's really required? And uh, everybody else might even say, too, that as to where, that if you're mainly just focusing on trying to just get through the course within a certain time, you know, like, you know, yeah, the, you, know, you, uh, you want to get through the course, uh, courses within 35 weeks, you know, just to kind of get it over with. Or, you know, you want to consider yourself full-time just for that reason or something like that but uh, still like uh, we all are probably thinking too is toward the yeah that um i know i talked about this before but i can also mention it again and like everybody else would say if you want to go and write it in like an equation toward it uh meeting uh you know yeah meeting Toward it, uh, you know, that, you know, yeah, I can put on here for reference or something like that, you know, for V or something like that. And like, right, this like in like a source of re equation right here to where that, um, you know, giving, um, giving um, someone uh, more work um, than um, what um, that, um, person can handle and a lot of times it sure seems that way that the when, when we think about that though giving that person and I can go ahead and put like a you know mark like yeah just to show up that's supposed to be like a or curly bracket or something. I'm like yeah opening and closing tabs I'm like yeah yeah do I try to put that in a word like an equation right there so let's just say that if you were to tell somebody that this is how this works right here, that that's all you got to do, you know, that's all you got to do, there's nothing else, well, you know, really, uh, you know, that that's all. And uh, so if you were to say that, like, that's all. And uh, so, like, let's just say that um, if you were to say that, you know, to somebody, and let's just say that if that's all you got to do, you know for sure, like everybody else would tell you soon, like, you know, knowing about the next steps. And uh, so it's like... Uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, when we think about that though is that uh, you know the more work is not really about over about putting your your mind thinking in overdrive or anything like that and like everybody else would say too is to word it uh, you know overdrive and uh, you know what what do archaeologists and scientists really you know still say about that is to where if you think if you do put your mind in overdrive though that um, 
whenever you got so much stuff going on at the same time, and the UNO2 is toward it, uh, that, you know, according to the directions that you thought that that's all you had to do, and why why is it that this, oh my god, yeah, if you're, so if you are assigned more work, and half the time it sure seems that way to where, that, uh, you know, yeah, so it's like, uh, you may find yourself, I'm like, to word it, uh, you know, you, uh, the teacher is not going to like you just because that uh, you were not doing your work or that person was doing more work than what you were, were doing or something like that. So we might even think that too, to word it, for how much work that you were doing compared to a few of the other students. And uh, that's why it sure seems that way, to word it, uh, that you might think is to word it, you know, just because... That you were maybe five years younger than this other person, or you know, just because you know she's five year, five years younger than you, are, or something like that, and uh, so it sure seems that way. Like anything about the common sense, though, and people might even say too that you know, yeah, well, really, that that's that's that may not even be the point, but but let's just say that on the other hand, that um, when we think about young, you know, young and younger age or younger age of adults and compared to the older age adults too is that uh yeah you know everybody like the like i usually hear is to where everybody everybody's different and but you know still that um but on the other hand that um that one thing the key factor to remember is to remember is to where the yeah you know but how hard like yeah you know if, if everybody knows that you worked hard for what you were trying to accomplish right and in a lot of ways, it sure seems that way to where that when we think about that, though, is that, uh, you know, whenever we think about the adult age, though, that uh, between the ages of maybe, you know, yeah, between the age of, of uh, 35 and 45 or even going on 50 years old. And the 102 is to where that, you know, you are not considered a senior citizen. You are considered, uh, you know, a sophomore citizen. And and uh, people might, somebody might even say to you that, well, really, that, uh you know, you're a young uh, citizen, and um, so if you were to put that that on your citizenship, and and let's just say that if it's going to be pronounced, that the citizenship would be pronounced as to where that you know, you are, uh, you know, yeah, you know, what's a what's the proper name for what we gonna call a younger adult, uh, you know, a younger citizen? Uh, I usually say student. You know, I usually say student. You know, right here. And I usually say that, you know, just because, I'm like, if you are a young student or, you know, yeah, if it's a, a company name or something like that, I usually say student, but, you know, a lot of uh, people might even say, too, that, that, you know, yeah, expert or middle or, yeah, midterm, like, you might even say midterm if you're a mid midterm citizen or something like that. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, midterm citizen, you know, and I know a lot of universities would uh, say something like midterm. You know, you're a midterm citizen. You consider yourself a midterm citizen just because, you know. But still, you know, you are a midterm, uh, you're a midterm citizen. You're a midterm citizen just because that uh, you you were younger than the age of forty and um, something like that. But uh, still, that. Uh, but on your hand, to where it sure seems that way that. Uh, we're talking about, you know, yeah, you know, if we could maybe use a word of phrases to word about every, uh, yeah, every 35 months, just look at that, to word it to every 35 months is to think about a lot of the accomplishments. All the accomplishments that you made, uh, you know, during the 35 months or so that, uh, that you were working on, and, and I know... Yeah, like everybody else would say too that you know, but you know, but do I want to use thirty-five or you know, you can you know, you can use twelve, but like I by every every year or so, like uh, but everybody else said you know, like yeah, if if you want to use, you know, yeah, you, you can use thirty-five. Uh, you know, it would it would if anything, it would maybe make more sense if you use thirty-five weeks. Say thirty-five weeks. Yeah, so yeah, say thirty-five weeks because. People might even say, too, that, uh, you know, yeah, why does the number have to be that big? You know, if you want to use 35, just say 35 weeks. And uh, 35 weeks, if I've done the calculations, that uh, 35 weeks is equal to about, you know, five months at the most. I would say about five months. And so, yeah. 
So you know, use that word of saying is toward at the uh, citizens and uh, 35 uh, weeks accomplished in, in five months. And um, so like anybody say, if you're going to have a goal set uh, toward it, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of things that you would like to accomplish in five, five months. And uh, yeah, but still, it, um, but it sure seems that way that when we think about that, though, is that, um, that yeah, you know, how, how do you know? Uh, Whenever, you know, you may think that something, it's too late to take care of something, or maybe if it's anything about that, you may think it is to where, yeah, you know, for, uh, one thing I did want to talk about is this to where, yeah, you know, um, you're late. Late, you're past due, you know, how, how do you want to make somebody feel, uh, more comfortable with something, uh, you know, whenever it comes to trying to get something taken care of, past due, or something like that. How do you want to, you know, start the conversation? You know, being flexible. Yeah, fl flexible about it. Is this toward, yeah, you know, it's not really too late, you know, to take care of that. But, you know, still, that, um, that you know, just, uh, you know, the opportunity. You know, think about that. Think about, you know, an opportunity here. You know, that's, I guess... Yeah, if that's really the key factor of matter is, is to, to think, think about an opportunity. You know, if you want to give somebody advice, I'm like, yeah, if you may, you may think that uh, it's too late to take care of something or that, you know, yeah, if you're over the age, if you're over the age of 18 and like everybody else would say too, is to where that, um, that uh, you know, what's a good, some good advice that uh, you will want to give to somebody if you may think that is to where that, yeah, you know, if you... You've been working on something for five years, and maybe if you're not able to accomplish everything, and you know what what opportunities do you think that uh, you would be able to, to give to somebody? And uh, so I talk about you know for a good opportunity, and um, so the way I think about it too though is that uh, yeah yeah think about a good opportunity, you know, a good suggestion that you'd like to give to somebody, and uh, if you think that something's late or past due, and uh, so in a lot of ways, I just really think is to where talk about uh, you know for young, uh, young age and all that, and people might even say too this to where the yeah, you start the conversation with somebody and you want to say they yeah, have well, do you even know what what love is? And um, but still, in case of anybody where they, I'm like I know I I think I talked before about that, but let's just say that um, you know what love. You know, love, um, love, you know, can, love can be explained in a lot of ways, right? But let's just say that, um, that, uh, you know, if you want to go ahead and, you know, uh, a funny story. Yeah, you want to go ahead and tell a funny story. You start the relationship by telling that this person an interest, an interesting, funny story. Mm -hmm. And, uh, if you, just, just to see what they think, you know, like anybody say too, that, uh, you know, if you were to tell somebody, uh, a funny story and maybe a story that maybe that they can understand and people might even say too, that, you know, yeah, you want to start the conversation by telling them about a funny story and you want to know too is to where, okay, yeah, uh, whatever that's supposed to mean or something like that. But, but yeah, still, I, I would maybe... You know, like anybody who's maybe going to have a relationship or something like that. And if you were to start any sorts of relationship, though, that uh, tell somebody an interesting, funny story about something. Something that happened to you and maybe that, that they're going to maybe ask you to where, okay, uh, whatever that's supposed to mean. Or, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Or, okay, uh, why? Why did you do that? So, yeah, so, yeah they're going to. They're going to ask the questions, and you know for sure you're going to start the conversation by explaining to them about uh, why you thought about it you know, that way or something like that. But, you know, we're, we're all going to have our explanations, of course, but still. But, um, at the time, you want to know, too, why does it have to be put in, like, an equation, like everybody else would say, too? Well, really, number one, if you're trying to explain to somebody the situation using a smartphone or a tablet or something like that, then you would maybe have to put it in like in a source of the equation toward it, uh, you know, yeah, toward it, uh, you're trying to get your computer to understand uh, what you're talking about. And you know, if you're trying to pass a message off to somebody, 
and people will say toward yeah did you did you get my message <laughs> so like yeah you know did you um Yeah, did you get my message? And a lot of times it's like, yeah, you, know, you start a conversation by saying this toward a yeah. Did you get my gift or something I'm like that? Yeah. So, yeah. Did you get my my hugs and kisses? You know, the other night? I'm like, yeah. So, so yeah. So, you're going to make me start. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, you know, do you want to maybe include like anything? I'm like, yeah. Sporting. I'm like, um, oh, uh, Maybe a, a bow tie. I'm like, oh, yeah. Maybe a football or soccer or, you know, like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. If you're going to go in and include something like that right there. <laughs> you know, yeah. Outfit or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Did you roll the dice if you were to? I'm like, so, yeah. Games. Um, so, so, yeah. <laughs> Ideas are going to go on and on, okay, about stuff. But uh, still, that, um. The eight ball or something like that, you know, that you play or get around a golf, you know, yeah, the hugging bear. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. So, so whenever we think about that, though, it sure seems that way to where that um, young adults can maybe think of a number of things, right? But a lot of times, it sure seems that way that um, one of those things is maybe going to be a bias as to where you go ahead and start the conversation by saying this to where you know, any idea. Any idea of um, about um, what um, what I am talking about? So let's just say that uh, you know, yeah, you start a conversation with somebody, and let's just say that uh, you know, half the time. You want to know is toward it. Yeah, you know, you might get a reply on the same line saying such as, you know, uh, you know, I saw that. Yeah, so so if somebody, if somebody were to respond to your question, to your message and saying that, uh, you know, yeah, I saw that, you know, saw that. And um, so a lot of times, what, what does that mean? When, if you were to see a message like that, <laughs> like everybody else would probably say too, yeah, I saw that, like an okay, uh, you saw that, but, you know, so a lot of times it's like, yeah, if somebody, you know, yeah, well, I saw that, you know, yeah, I heard that, <laughs> but, you know, like, you want to know, too, is to where, yeah, you know, anything that you would like to talk about that, or anything that you would like to ask, and you talk to me about, or anything like that, so a lot of times it sure seems that way, yeah, that uh, somebody says, yeah, I saw that, <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> so a lot of times, yeah, somebody's going to maybe say that, uh, what um, is um, your point? What is your point? Or do you have a point? Do you have a point? And you can say something like, yes. My funny story. Anyway, um, so you can say something like that, but <laughs> still. But the, the way I think about it too, that, that you know, you know, any sorts of conversation talk about between young and uh, you know, young adults and maybe you know grown teens or you know like uh, you know, like anybody else would probably say too. It all starts by saying this to word that uh, you know you offer somebody. Uh, Maybe you offer to uh, carry their luggage or something like that, or something like that. Offer somebody a favor until you know you start the conversations or something like that. Yeah, you know somebody offers to buy you a coffee or maybe a donut or maybe a, a bagel or something like that. Offers to buy you breakfast or something like that. But anyway, yeah. But to talk about the study about young adults. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.